version 360 tutorial. Now we have a look at how to get a mesh body into a solid body. We can see here's our mesh body. We see we are have now our solid one on the right side and we also will do some, uh, yeah, some testing. Is it like really a solid body now? Can we use the normal solid functions on it? And exactly this is what we are trying today. So let's start with the tutorial after the intro. Hi and welcome to a new Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we take a look at how we can uh, bring a mesh back to a solid body. So first of all, let's first um, import our mesh. I will just do that over my computer, It'll give me a second. So uh, then I'll double click my mesh, put it in here and now I have a look at it. So how can we be sure that this is like a mesh body and not a solid body? Yeah, like there's two major things you, you can see it. The first thing is like you have different um, faces or uh, yeah, your faces are separated and you have the symbolic in uh, your bodies. Like this yellow symbolic is like, it's like a mesh body. So first of all, the first things we are doing is to get the surfaces back in, uh, yeah, real surfaces. And this is like, we take like surface groups. So we uh, choose our body and say we do it on the fast way, like it's German right now, it's like schnell, fast and say, okay. So what do we see? Not as much because like these are round corners, but we can see like in the hole, there's like a newer color in it. So if you don't see any colors down on the right side, you have like a little icon, you go on and say activate um, a color scheme and then you can see all the colors. So then uh, you have two possibilities or three possibilities to bring that back into a solid body. The easiest way is, first of all, I will say um, reduce the uh, amount of faces you have, go in and say, Try to do it um, adaptive into like 25% per um, percent of the actual faces and see uh, what uh, the output will be. And we will see, okay, that's not changing as much, but they are a little bit less faces and it seems to be okay. The fastest way to bring it back is like you're going in and say, uh, convert the uh, mesh, take the mesh and convert it like on the uh, face as a faceteered. And if you're going in there, you can see now you are in a solid body, but you still have the a lot of meshes in or a lot of surfaces on each side. Here are like two solutions. The first solution is like you're going in manually and um, yeah, deleting them with backspace and you can see you can bring down back your model. Or the other thing is you try to uh, redesign it manually. Good. This is like the first thing. The other thing is like you're going in on like a mesh again and say a mesh back to a solid, so mesh convert. And you can say organic. You can go in uh, how, uh, how organic should it be. And you choose your body, say okay. And okay, it's going out with an error. Okay, not working here. Then uh, you have the, the other option is like parametric or prismatic. And you can go in there and choose that, but you can't. You only see it's only taking uh, these faces. It's really knows like this would be uh, the round face we saw in uh, before, like the inner circle. So here is like the uh, only uh, good solution. At the end of the day, you're going in like mesh convert, taking on uh, the first one and saying okay, and you have like a solid now where you can work with. Are we sure we can work with it? We can check this. We can go into the uh, yeah, volume. Uh, menu, set up a sketch. Uh, let's say I just put a hole in the, the body like here. I will just take a circle putting a, yeah. Easiest way to create a circle is like um, press C on the keyboard and then you go into the circle, press E and you're going in extrusion mode and you can just put the extrusion through the body and we can see, yeah, it's working fine as a solid body. And that is how it works. Like the easiest way to do that. Exactly, this is how uh, everything works, how to get a mesh back to solid. If you're more interested in these videos, just let me know. That's like the first English video we are doing right now. I would love to do some more, but yeah, it depends on your feedback. And then we will see you at the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.